Hello YouTube, it's Nick here for the Migrate Tech YouTube channel. This is the place where I bring you reviews on all things technology. And today we're going to take a look at the re recently released iOS 4.3 Beta 1. And this is only for developers, so you have to have a Mac and also you have to have a developer account to actually download this uh, firmware. Now this is Beta 1, so this is the first beta stage of iOS 4.3. So let me just prove to you that I am on iOS 4.3. I'm running it on my iPad, as you can see, so I could show you all the uh, abilities of 4.3. If we go to General About, and if you look right down here on the settings, I am running version 4.3, and in the brackets, the, mod, the, the, the version number AF5148B, as you can see right there. So that's that. Okay, so the iOS 4.3 Beta 1 is only for the iPad, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, and the iPod Touch 4th Gen and the 3rd Gen, and obviously the iPad as well. So the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch 2G have been discontinued for the beta stage. Now, when it actually comes to the final release, I'm sure that it will be released for all devices, but for the beta stage, um, it's only released for those devices I just mentioned. So this is obviously saying that in... It's, it's near to the end to the lifespan of these older devices. Okay, so let's actually show you a few features which are new. And um, some of the new features I'll just mention real quick is the multi touch gestures. So maybe if you go to the migrateiphone.com website and you see the article about the uh, iPad having no home button, you might see a reason for these multi touch gestures. So there's multi-touch gestures. Also, with the release of the Verizon iPhone, there is now uh, personal hotspots, so you can allow up to five people to connect to your 3G con connection. Um, obviously, I'm on a Wi-Fi iPad, so I won't be able to demonstrate that for you. But if you have an iPhone or a uh, 3G iPad, you can obviously do that. And the other things are just small additions to like the settings tab, and also you can change the rotation lock to either mute or rotation. There is also improved air print um, quality. So, so the first thing I want to show you is we go to the settings application and you go to general about, or no, sorry, you stay on the general page and you can see there are a few added um, options in the general tab. So we have the lock rotation or use slide switch to obviously decide whether you want it on lock rotation, which I prefer, or the mute option, which was in iOS 4.2. A lot of people did complain when iOS 4.2 was released um, that they preferred it with the lock rotation as the physical switch and the mute as actually on the multitasking bar. So you can now have that option to decide which one you want. Um, so you can obviously just click on which one you want and it will do that for you. We also have another tab which says multitasking gestures. This just explains um, how to use it and obviously to turn it on and off. I'll show you that in just a second. So also if we go to accessibility there is another feature in accessibility and this is to change the size of your text. So as you can see we have large text. If we just click that you can now change the text size for your contacts, mail and notes application. So you can turn it off or you can have it where I have it right now which is at 56 um, so that's 56 and if we go to the application I want to show you it on which is notes if we just type a new note you can see it is now really big writing and if I zoom out for you guys you'll be able to see how big that is compared to the iPad and how normally it would look so let's now show you the, the actual gestures for the iPad Okay, so with four or five fingers, if you're on your home screen or anywhere on your iPad for that matter, if you scroll from the bottom of the screen up, it will now enable the multitasking bar. Again, you can still use it exactly how you want. I've got my mute switch, got the brightness, I've got the volume, everything like that's already there. But you just have to go four fingers up at, or five fingers and you bring up your multitasking bar. Now let's actually go into an application and now the way that you can easily switch from application to application instead of bringing up your multitasking bar you just use that four or five finger gesture again but you go sideways so you can go that way so I'm now on my notes to settings to my iPod to game center to photos and to mail I think that's the last application yep so you can just easily switch through all your applications just by swiping left to right now again, this is beta 1, so it is very buggy at the moment, as you can see it does take a while, or oh, sometimes it freezes, it is very buggy, so just be aware of that, but again, you can access your multitasking bar, 
and just switch your application. It's very useful. Say I was just um, in my mail application and then I had to go to Safari real quick. I had it open and I'm there. I can go to my notes real quick, don't have to go to the home screen, don't have to go to the multitasking bar, I'm already there. So it's a really good feature to have an iOS 4.3. So that's that. Uh, okay, so the other thing I wanted to show you was of course the silent switch or the rotation lock. So like I showed you in my settings tab, if I just went go back to settings real quick, I do have it a set on lock rotation. Now if we actually move to the silent switch itself or the lock rotation switch for it is me now, um, I can just lock it as you see it locks. But if I was to change it to mute, it now knows it's in mute. So it's very good to have that option now. And I definitely preferred the lock rotation to the mute which was in iOS 4.2. So let me just set the iPad back up. Now that's pretty much it, is Nick here for the Migrate Tech YouTube channel. Um, Obviously we will update you when the final release of iOS 4.3 is out and until then I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day and I thank you all for watching this video, the place where we bring you all reviews on all things technology.